Hey, what's going on guys? Derek here, or on a solid game, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing off my PPSH, and it is also going to be a review, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I've had this PPH, PPSH for over a year now, and they're just releasing it to Black Ops 3 with the new DLC 3, so I feel like this would be a cool upload to make. So this is going to be a review for the SMT, which is Smart Team, PPSH 41. Uh, so right here, we got the box, pretty standard. I got this tro at Toronto Airsoft online. You have to get the 2,000 round uh, drum magazine or the 540 um, stick magazine. And uh, of course, I'm going to get the drum magazine because why not? You know, who, who would rather have 2,000 rounds or 500? And it would both be the same price. So of course, I'm going to be getting the more expensive thing for the same price. So, the features that it has here, it has an electric blowback system, easy power upgrade system, new metal gearbox design, one piece stamped steel body, and of course, it looks highly realistic. Um, just looking at it already, it's really good. Here's the, uh, the magazine release, you have to flip this over, and you have to hold this down, and you have to release it. Now, I'm going to try to release it with one hand, okay? Uh, like I said, it's, I don't know if I said this yet, but it's fully metal, steel, and it's real wood. Like this is this right here is real wood. Um, Two thousand rounds can fit in here. What you gotta do is you just gotta open. You just gotta go like this. Open that up, and uh, then you just pull it off from right here. But I'm not gonna do it just because I'm doing it with one hand. I don't really want to look stupid, even though I already have. So you got the sling mount right here, and then another one right here. Got very nice iron sights. I'll show you these right now. You know, classic World War II iron sights. Very nice, very nice. Um, I'm going to show you the other side here. No sling mounts on the left, uh, the other side. I think that's yeah, the right side. So this is going to be very good for right hand shooters if you want to have the sling, but left hand shooters, uh, you're going to have to like do something. The safety is right here. What you gotta do is you just gotta pull it back, and then the black thing right here, you gotta push it back down. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand again. Sorry. Apologize, I'm butchering this video so much. There you go. Push it down in. And uh, it is on safety. You cannot shoot it. Uh, this is the selector switch right here. This is semi automatic. Move it over. Fully automatic. Pull this back over here. And you go back on the other side. So, some other things that it has here. The battery is has a 8.4 voltage um, mini and a two and a half a nunchuck, and these are not included. Um, I, also, it apparently has like this 1500 mAh. I'm sorry, I, I never really did that good in science, but I did pass, so don't know much much about batteries or ohms or anything like that. Like I said, the uh, the the magazine capacity is 2,000 rounds, 6 millimeter BBs, and uh, yeah, let's see here. Fully auto and safe and semi, of course. Like I said, you got the steel wood. I'm going to try to keep it in the view here. Get the magazine right here. Still looks really badass. Got a high torque flat motor. The hop up is adjustable. If you want to get to the hop up, I think what you have to do here is you have to go like this. And you can get to it right there, but uh, I'll show you that later. Right here, the length is 400 or 850 millimeters, so it's like it's pretty big. It's pretty heavy as well. It's actually uh, see here, 3,650 grams. That's how heavy it is. And uh, it gets 380 uh, FPS with 0.2 GBBs. Which, uh, I mean, it performs pretty well. Uh, it's supposed to shoot fast. So you still can't have this indoors because it's under 400. Because I think that is the limit for most um, inside BB place or airsoft places. So it is pretty nice, I do have to say. I do shoot it at the back a lot of times. Maybe I'll be getting a few shots of me shooting at the back. I'm not sure. Thank you guys for watching. I might make another video of this when DLC 3 comes out. You never know. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a later video.